Well, welcome back to Brian Basketball. You know, we're going to start off with a little ticklish Reuben tonight. As we usually do on all my Comp C updates and tribute to my granny. But uh, anyway, this is a shout out to Low Roller. I think he's on to something, guys. Uh, Bill, you mentioned something in my comments yesterday talking about uh, the, the shipping. But you know what? I sat there and looked at what he was talking about, guys, and I'm going to show you what he's talking about. All right? Uh, if we go over here to Comp C, all right, I'm logged in. This is how it's set up generally. It says simplified shipping modes, right? If you're not planning on shipping them back to your home, you click that one and you can save it. But what I'm going to show you is this is what they normally look like, right? So we're just going to save it. It says it's a success, so we're going to go back over here. So what I did yesterday to try to do this is I just went there and picked basketball cards, right? And I go over here to lowest. All right, this is the lowest price, right? 28 cents. See the card? Upper deck. Euro League. Vladimir Metcalf and Charles. All right. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go back in there, and I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to cover y'all up for a minute here because it's gonna pull up my information again every time you do it. So I'm gonna just put this in there, but y'all know where you go. You go back into there, and I'm over here on outgoing offers. So if you do advanced, now Bill, since I don't have any money in there, and I don't know uh, if this works. All right, there's a success, right? So you go back up here. Do basketball cards again, and now it's at three cents. Oh, let me back y'all out. Do y'all see the difference? That took the 25 cents away. If I'm not having to ship at home, I can buy this card for the, because this guy's having to pay that 25 cents. It, it, it's going back the other direction where I was complaining in the beginning, talking about, you know, not only am I getting 50 cents to take it out of my hard case that I sent it in in my top loader, my brand new top loaders because I thought that's how they needed to store my stuff because that's how I would store my stuff it now that we have the stuff to store them in nowadays back in the old days they didn't have that stuff you had to do screw downs I got boxes of screw downs I could have sent in with them but anyway all these cards are three cents now if that's true and you have a player that you want to target this would be the platform to buy it off of but not to ship at home. That's to turn around and try to resell it. But if you think they're going to do something next year. You know, they, these cards here are five years old. I imagine all these guys are out of the league. But you'd have to pick out which, you're, which is your players. And guys, are y'all ready for this? Take a look at this. Rookie cards. Right? Look who has the number one cards in there. Whoops. I'm sorry, guys. I, I, I changed it over to Rookie. Well, let me zoom you in there. That's Rui. Has 484 Rookie cards in there, ungraded. Zion has 464. Uh, John Morant has 483, but he has 484. He has the most. And I clicked on that. You click on Rui. If I wanted to buy, I don't know if they have every one of his rookie cards, but boy, howdy, if you wanted to build a set, that's the way to build a set. But that's to turn around and resell them. That's not to ship them. That's reducing that 25 cents. But you know what? I think if you did it as a bulk deal, I don't know. I've never had anything shipped back. I've seen other people have the stuff shipped back to them and, and all the stuff. Uh, and their cards in sleeves, the stuff that they bought. I don't know if anyone's ever turned around and had them ship back their own cards back to them like I might do and say, I want all my top loaders with it too because I sent in 500 top loaders with the cards. I don't know how they end up with 508 because I only bought five. It might have been 
eight old top loaders that I might have had. But I sure thought I'd count out the top loaders before I started doing it. But anyhow, let's go on over here. Thanks for staying with me, guys. HGA, you know, we still got stuff going on with them. Oh, oh, guys, another thing. I've went through here and I've checked and my most recent ones are in here. You know, where I was hammering on him saying, hey, if, if y'all don't even have my cards in there, how can I even promote your, your stuff? I don't know if that's one of the ones I did. I know I went through there and checked the cards that I have laying right over here that I'm thinking about listing. I'm thinking about listing the, the linchpin Barry Sanders, uh, two of LeBron James rookie cards, and a Kobe Bryant stadium club. But I think it's from 89.90. I thought that's what I was going to look at. But anyway, let's go back over here. Let's go on back. Uh, let's go and close that down. Let's go in here and see what we got going on over here. Open work orders. Now those are scanned. All right, guys, that's order 66907. There's 27 cards in this order. All right? I don't know if it's going to show my shipping details again. I, I scrolled right fast. I know you can't catch it. Because it wasn't even for one. I don't think it's for one. I don't think you'll see it. But anyway, let, let, those are the cards. And uh, you don't see the grades. Let me see if this does something. This, oh, oh yeah. I can just click on this. There are all the cards. Whoops. Whoops. <laughs> Jeez wheeze. Why did it show my... I think it showed my stuff again. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, snap out of it. There you go. But anyhow, guys, this is how I graded these cards. I'm showing y'all that I, that I don't know the pre-grade. Let me see if I can uh, change this lighting in here. I, I'm trying to get a little bit more high class in here. I don't know if this even show it, guys. But you'll see I did 959959959959959959 nine, now, these cards are probably not going to come back that way now that I've seen some of the other ones. Um, I think I went over this in one of the reviews with y'all when I showed the cards, the 27 card submission. I think I showed my pre-grade on everything. But that's the cards. And when they come back in, we're going to take a look and see if... Now, the Bazooka Joe, this one right here, this nine, it's coming back. It's the Mini. So they're not going to grade it. I, I caught them. So they don't charge me. Hopefully I got my money back. But anyway, we will take a look. And y'all remember the, the, the Kevin Garnett Generations was one of the ones I was going to give away. If y'all could guess the weight. I mean, guess how many cards was in that sack that I was going to grade. I thought that was a pretty fun contest. I had three people guess. And, uh, oh, I forget why it was. But anyhow uh yeah and ebay we're still blowing and going over there guys um i haven't sold much i haven't really sold anything because i really haven't posted anything but i've got you know i've got one of these kendrick perkins graded i think it's only one graded this is the box set that i graded right here that i had that i had from a long time ago i got i have i have multiples of these but i graded basically one of the boxes and that you know, those nine fives that you saw coming in were them. But anyhow, I'm uh, I'm still going to get over there to that card store tomorrow. Had some stuff going on today and everything. And uh, I appreciate y'all showing up. Yeah, it's already that much time. Look at that. Where's my orange lights? Where's my orange lights? I got to have my orange lights up here, don't I? Well, I guess that's going to have to be close enough. Because I go, Cowboys. Keep them pistols firing.